<laughs> hi guys good afternoon and hope you're doing well and how is your day going it's a new week it's a blessed week hey, thank come god on, for seeing a new week and we are out here for school runs hope you have been watching my vlogtober videos if you have not been watching it you are wrong don't worry god will give you data to watch everything eh? because i know it's not easy so welcome to today's video so we just got back from we are just doing school runs basically and running some errands today i want to buy water i don't have drinking water in my house so i want to buy water and i want to buy diaper and that's all so i picked four sets of kids so we are going to pick up baby girl and big brother next then we'll do our errands together go to the hospital i'm not going to any hospital which hospital are you going to ah <laughs> don't mind that this woman no she's not feeling fine she's supposed to be taking care of us so she's our uh, lagos mommy but now she says she's not feeling fine she just came out from the hospital i don't know the hospital that she's going to again that she's just shouting at hospital hospital you need to call her later let her call you wait me <laughs> so <laughs> let's go run our errands together Jari. And let's just have his Nigeria at your end, though. How are things going? Hmm. It's ain't funny anymore. Things are so, so, so expensive. God. May God keep. May God keep supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. She means you can say I'm doing video. Eh? Shut up your mouth. Guys, they are things going on at your age. Now, you don't buy unnecessary things. So, since that's unnecessary that you buy, no unnecessary spending. Because now every naira matters. But I know that God is on the throne and it won't continue to be like this. God is going to rewrite the story of this nation. And even if the story refuses to be rewritten, He will always provide all our needs. So don't don't shake because God has not left the children. So let's go get our kids and buy our water and our diaper and I'll see you later. Bye ya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. One water. Put it down. Six bags and two bottles of water. So everything will be two five. Okay, we are going to come. Yes. Thank you. Leave it to each other. That deal is alright, Mo. It's very, very expensive sometimes. <laughs> Why are you crying now? Your mommy. <coughs> mommy. Is it mommy? You're putting the volume on zero like that. See mommy. <coughs> See mommy at the back. Okay, See ya. See mommy. See ya now. Am I running away? Ah. Am I running away? I'll do something for you. Don't like it. I'll turn it for you like this. See? Mm. What's up, Mike? On today's episode of taking care of Lagos Mommy. So we made a vegetable sauce. See her here sleeping. Oh yeah, take your food. Take your vegetable jewelry. 
see how she's doing. I see she will not eat it. Yeah. While taking care of Lagos mommy, I have to eat too. So this is my own breakfast. My vegetable portion and small pieces of yam. And I also have a cup of coffee here. It's been raining since last night. Not last night, yeah like early hours of this morning and it's still raining so we have to keep body and soul together with the hot sea so let's dig in and eat our meal bless it in jesus name and come and eat also hi guys good afternoon and welcome back to my space welcome back to this beautiful space and welcome to vlogtober yes quick announcement so now you'll be expecting two days in a video that is what i have resolved to sorry about that data is not cheap eh? and it's data to upload this thing so we have to minimize the days and save some data that's just it so hope you enjoyed vlogtober day 14 and 15 so this video is going to be vlogtober day 16 and 17 so welcome to today's video and if you're new welcome this beautiful face is Amolade and I'm a youtuber based in Lagos Nigeria hope you enjoy this video as I bring it up to you and don't forget to subscribe and like and share and make this place a home enjoy my videos and you'll surely be blessed by my content I assure you that okay so subscribe right now it's a black button below somewhere here or here just subscribe and let's grow together on this page so every returning subscribers welcome you know now i love you i love you i love you thank you so much for staying here with me and god bless you so today i want to share with you how i grew my daughter's hair from this picture here to this picture here yes it's quite a journey it's not magic and it requires a lot of patience if i must say so i would like to share with you the products i use for her hair to grow her hair so here are all the products i use for her hair these five things are like basically what i use for her hair no addition no subtraction just these five products are what i use for her hair so here we have her conditioner this is our hair growth oil this is leave-in conditioner this is her moisturizing shampoo and this is a misty spray also known as a detangler so these are like the products i use for her hair and i will not forget her comb i use this wide tooth comb for her hair this one actually goes through her hair and makes it less painful when I'm combing it. So this is very, very important for children, for adults. If you are a naturalista, you have natural hair, get this comb when loosening your hair to ease the pain. So get this comb. So let's get into the product. So um, this detangling spray. So this one, I use it when I take out her hair. I spray it on her hair to ease the pain of combing it and to soften the hair this one you just spray and the hair becomes soft and the comb can just go through and you comb it then this is shampoo we all know the use of this to wash off dirt from the hair it moisturizes also is a moisturizing shampoo and we have the conditioner this one is conditioner to help soften the hair and to, for you to comb it while you wash so these are like what I use when washing her hair, just the two. Then this is her leave-in conditioner. I apply this one when I finish washing and drying her hair. When the hair is a bit damp, I apply this on it. Then you see this one. Hmm. This is the growth oil. Small but mighty. It's almost out. But a little goes a long way. So this one I just apply to her scalp, not to her hair, to her scalp. To make sure that her hair is oiled every time. So that's, these are like the basic products I use for our hair. So let's start with the story. So I started consciously growing her hair when she clocked six months. So we were putting it in bonds. 
in like five bones yeah, that was what we were putting up but i just noticed that the back of our hair there was no hair in it as in this whole place like this from here to this point there was no hair so i became concerned and i sent a message to these people that produce these products on instagram and they recommended these products for me and i have not regretted since i started using these products for her yes it requires patience a lot of patience when making her hair hmm i normally start preparing myself like two days before i make the hair because you will be where you will be worn out when you start making the hair um her very first hair that she made was apart from the bones that we used to do was like some days to her first year old birthday and she really really cooperated i have a video of that on my channel she really really cooperated when she did that hair but after that hair subsequent hairstyles that we have done in the salon with my stylist it has been a hell of a ride she will cry from beginning of that hair to the last to the last minute of the hair it's not knowing they're making the hair is paining her but she does not just want your hand on her head at all so that's why i now took the pain upon myself to start making her hair i'm not an expert in making hair i never learned it from anywhere i learned it from observation so when i go and make my hair with this my stylist i normally if she's making someone's hair i'll just look at how she's making it then from there i started practicing with my daughter we are not near perfection yet but at least we are somewhere at least she can carry her i can make her hair and i'll be proud of the work that i have done even my sisters can testify to it even her brothers even her daddy will be wondering that ah i don't want made this hair i say it's me it's my work so you give me some money for that so that's just it so my stylist has unofficially banned me from bringing her to make her hair to the point that even if she sees my call on her phone like this she will say hey jesus hope it's not that it's this girl that wants to make her hair I say no it's me that wants to make my hair so that's just it so you require a lot of patience when making her hair when i'm making her hair i'll give her biscuits give her ribina make sure there's cartoon make sure there is light when i'm making her hair so she can concentrate on cartoon so she can be distracted a bit while i make her hair those are the things that we used to entice her to make this hair and when she makes it in fact Kashakara knows no bounds she'll start shaking her head when you sing shake it shake it shake it she'll start doing shake it shake it shake it shake it that's how she is she loves making she loves hair on her head but she does not like the process of it being on her head so these products have worked very very well for me and if you like to know the details of the product you can comment on that this video and i'll surely link you up send you the ig address instagram um address of where i got it from so you can also patronize them it's not a paid ad i just said i should share with you because someone may be out there struggling with their daughter's hair and you may be wondering why it's not or you're even at the verge of cutting that hair no it does not um don't cut the hair just try out this product and if it does not work then you can feel free to do whatever you want with your baby's hair so patience is required patience and dedication you must be dedicated to this routine i wash her hair every two weeks because she carries her hair every two weeks so when i take out the hair she's carrying right now i'm going to wash it so twice a month is when i wash her hair and i make sure i use all these products and do that and i have i'm really really glad at the way her hair has turned out it gives me joy anytime I'm losing her hair and I see that it, had, it has added like an inch to the previous length. I'm very, very, very excited. So it needs a lot of patience and dedication. It must be dedicated. Not that you buy products, you use it this month, you will leave it all for three months. Then the fourth month, you go and use it. Then you'll be wondering why the hair is not growing. The hair cannot grow like that. It's just like you. You gave birth to your baby today and the baby starts working today. Won't you be scared? there is a process the baby will have to crawl from crawling the baby stands from standing the baby starts to take baby steps before it now becomes a master in in walking and running that's just how the journey of hair also is you have to be very very patient and be dedicated in the process that you are using i hope you have learned one or two from this video and i would love to read your comments also please comment and also like my videos like it give it a thumbs up the like button is always the first 
under the title of the video it's always the first button so like my videos and share to whosoever you think may be willing to learn or be wanting to learn from this or has a challenge in dealing with their children's hair either stunted growth um bowed patches on the hair you can share this video with them also and they will learn from it i really love to read your comments and to also see your likes on this video god bless you and i'll see you in two days time in our next video god bless you again bless jesus loves you and i see you